Hello Scorpio, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. All right, Scorpio, we're working with the Raja Tarot deck this week, pulling out for our career. Well, pulling out for our career, love life, and personal. Keep in mind this reading may not resonate for every Scorpio placement. Feel free to check out any of my other readings or book a personal with me. I would love to connect with you. All the info you need is in the description box. All right, Scorpio, we're going to clarify with the Pride Tarot. Let's get into career. All right, Knight of Pentacles coming out. So I feel like we've been at it for a while, Scorpio. We've been trying to make something happen. We've been putting one foot in front of the other. Okay, the Ace of Cups is coming out with the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this has been a struggle. It's really had us questioning our own self-worth and it's really tested us mentally. Just are we able to get up and do it again day after day and, and keep our mind right, you know, and keep believing in our goal? I feel like that's been a challenge. All right, but we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so... I feel like this week, Scorpio, your hard work is paying off, okay? This Ace of Cups is here because I do feel like we're going to really be having no other choice but to appreciate ourself, okay? And really appreciate what we've done to get to where we're going right we have our eye on that prize the prize is that ten of pentacles and you know i feel like this week we're just getting some sort of burst of inspiration okay i'm not saying we're winning the war this week we're still having to put in that good solid work towards our dreams towards that ten of pentacles pinnacle of success Okay, but this week we are getting, we're just getting a little glimmer of, of hope, you know, like a little insight towards our, our final product, you know, a little vision of it working out. And it's, it's really beautiful. So let's move into love life. All right, page of swords coming out. So I feel like... We could have something we want to say to somebody here within our love life, Scorpio. All right. With the Page of Swords, we might be feeling a bit defensive. All right. Like we have to really defend ourselves. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of what I thought. I feel like with the Page of Swords, we have something to say, but we're not saying it. Okay. I do feel like maybe something's been said to us. And it's really shook up our reality here with the Eight of Cups. It's like somebody had a message for us that really, after hearing that, we couldn't unhear it, right? And we couldn't, we had something about us just fundamentally changed. And I definitely feel like now we're sort of in this energy where we don't know what's next. We know we can't go back to the way we were doing it before, but we're not necessarily sure of the way forward either. Okay, so I do feel like we're kind of here in suspension with the hanged man. All right, and we have the star on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like ultimately through this process, we're really recognizing somebody. Okay, maybe somebody said something to us and we really underestimated them, but what they said was profound and it's really making us recognize them in a whole nother way. Or, you know, it could be going both ways as well. Like when, 
we could be saying something, right? And when we say it, it causes that reaction for somebody else. So it's definitely really profound. And I do feel like there is, there is a connection here and there is words being exchanged, but I don't necessarily, I'm not feeling a super romantic vibe here, but I'm definitely feeling like there is a connection for my Scorpios that is life changing in a way. It's really changing our perspective on love. Okay. And that's incredibly valuable. All right. Now moving into personal, we have the page of pentacles. Okay. So we might be starting a new job, a new course of study here with the page of pentacles. All right. Oh, the two of swords and the five of pentacles. Okay. So yeah, I'm feeling like Scorpio, we might be looking for a new job here with the two of swords. We're really could be going back and forth. Like we're just not sure which direction we want to go in. But with the five of pentacles, we're definitely feeling the pressure to make a choice, to make a change, to get out of the situation we're in currently because where we're at right now, doesn't feel great it doesn't feel secure it doesn't feel stable okay but with this eight of swords i feel like it could be a struggle right it could be a struggle for us to move forward because you know we're a little bit afraid of what's going to happen when we put ourselves out there okay but scorpio really don't be afraid i know it's easier to set said than done but we do have temperance on the bottom of the deck, okay? And with temperance, you are a resourceful person and you will make it. You're not afraid of a little hard work and you know, the opportunities will come. Really, um, with this page of pentacles, I do feel like it could feel like we're being demoted or we're having to go back to school or we're having to learn a new skill and that could you know that could be affecting the way we're feeling but definitely try not to let those feelings get the better of you Scorpio because we're definitely really evolving here and you know we are making progress even if we're not seeing the results that we want to see as quickly as we want to see them but you're resourceful you don't need to stress because no matter what happens scorpio you will always work it out that's just who you are you're just resourceful all right let's get you an oracle from the rebel deck Oh my gosh, cards are going everywhere. All right, you are talented and fucking amazing. The world needs your power. Use your voice, just don't use it for dumb shit. Well, there you have it, Scorpio. If you like this reading, please thumbs up, comment, share my channel with a friend, book a personal with me, follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. But most importantly, have a wonderful week. I love you. Take care.